Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video I have my very first fall decorate with me we are going to be decorating our kitchen area for fall time now in this video I am not going to incorporate any pumpkins except for one which you guys will see here shortly but I don't want to bring out too many pumpkins right now I will be bringing those out in the next couple of weeks I really just wanted to change up my decor add in some floral stems and really warm up our kitchen so it's nice and inviting and cozy when I do these seasonal decorate with me's, I really like to do a pretty deep clean where I wipe down the space that we're going to decorate. So I'm going to wipe down all the countertops, even our backsplash. This does get a little dirty from cooking, so I just wanted to make sure everything is clean before we start with the decorating. First up is our kitchen island. Our island is pretty large, so I do like to do something that really gives it some visual interest. I love incorporating a basket or a tray of some sort to really ground the styling space. Now you will see I am going to change out the styling that I do. I'm going to switch out the vase, add in some new little pieces. This is one of my favorite things to do while I decorate. I try things out, see what I like, I don't like. I didn't hate this Minka pot from Anthropology, but I felt like it was a little too dark for my liking. I also didn't love this candle, so you will see me switching it out for this white vase that I got from our house. It is sadly not available, but I will link the smaller version that I believe is still available on their website. These stems are from a floral. They are pretty expensive, coming in at over $20 a stem, but I'll leave a look-alike from Amazon in the description below. I also tried to pair this little black vase from Hobby Lobby with a pumpkin scented candle, but ultimately decided to change that out for a paper mache bowl with some acorns, and I really like the way that it finally turned out. I would love to hear in the comments below which one you preferred. over to our cutting board wall I'm going to swap out these stems in this basket for some fall stems keeping it very simple and then I'm going to swap out the wreaths on our pantry door for more of a fall inspired look Starting on the rest of our kitchen countertops, I'm going to put this cutting board that I got from a vintage market and then I'm going to put three of our cookbooks leaning up against the wall as you can see and one of them kind of leaning up against the other two. I recently got this little mini lamp from Target that I absolutely love. It warms up the space and it's a little different than the one that we originally had here. I'm then taking one of my new washcloths that I got from the new Hearth and Hand collection and now I'm going to start playing around with what I want here. I tried these little berry bowls, a candle, and the terracotta jack-o-lantern from Pottery Barn. Ultimately, I decided to go with the jack-o-lantern and I love the way that it came out. Right next to the stove, I'm taking this round cutting board from Target, then I'm going to place this magnolia crock that I got a year ago, and sadly it's not available anymore, and then just putting some of my wooden utensils inside of there. 
Then I'm going to bring in my new salt and pepper mills from the Hearth and Hand collection. These are so pretty and so incredibly affordable. If you've been looking for some, definitely check these out. I'm so, so happy. I also got these little berry bowls from the new Hearth and Hand collection that I'm just going to be layering right in front of the salt and pepper mills. As you can see, I tried the candle but ended up loving these a little bit more. I also wanted to show you the other side of our stove. I have this scalloped woven tray that I got from Walmart where I put our knife set and our Amazon show. I just have this little wooden stand so that I can prop it up just a little bit and I can plug it in in the outlet that's right behind here. I love the way that this is just a simple way to elevate the space, but I really enjoy the way that it looks. Now moving right next to that area, I'm going to layer some cutting boards and this vase and little baby breath stems from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going to add in our oil and vinegar bottles that we also got from Target. I found this cute little wooden tray from a vintage market a couple months ago and I absolutely love it for a little candle stand. And since I didn't use the candle yet, I'm going to put that on there, light that baby up, and that will complete this space. Next up is our console table across from our kitchen. I'm going to give this area a nice wipe down before we get started because it does collect a lot of dust because it is black and you can see it so much more than the rest of the kitchen. Starting by adding in this lamp that I picked up from Target a couple years ago and then this beautiful vase from McGee & Co. I'm going to use the same A floral stems that I used on our kitchen island and I'm just going to put a few of those inside the vase. I found this framed Hobby Lobby art a couple of weeks ago and I absolutely love the way that it looks here, especially for fall time. I'm layering in another art piece that I found from Hobby Lobby. I do wish that I could take out the plexiglass in these because I think it would look so much better, especially for photography and video. But unfortunately I can't. To finish it, I'm just taking a coffee table book and this ruffled bowl that I got from Home Goods. The last place we're going to decorate is our dining table. So this is right next to our kitchen island. I'm leaving the same vases that I had. These are both from Home Goods, so sadly I won't be able to link them. But I'm just taking four of these beautiful hydrangea stems from Hobby Lobby, going to put that into the bigger vase, and that is going to complete this full fall decorate with me of our kitchen. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I would love to hear what you think of it in the comments below. If you have any other fall video requests, make sure to leave them below as well. I will have everything that I can linked. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.